Hello and welcome to Be Inspired, Pastor Edward, Friday, the end of one more week is coming, but not the end of faith, huh? Yes, absolutely, Bishop. <laughs> good evening, good evening, everyone. Here we are. You know, yeah. we finish every week stronger than we start. Definitely. We are going to determine that today, Friday, God is going to manifest His power in your life. This is it. Every day must be a day of miracles. That's right, Bishop. There are people who say, well, maybe once a week or twice a month, why not determine that every day something great is going to happen? Jesus why not? Jesus said, uh, give us this day or daily bread, is yeah. or daily miracle or daily testimony. Daily, daily we must experience God and it's up to our faith. There are people who have faith to be blessed once a month and there are people like us who have faith to be blessed every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's Let's right. go in this faith. And today we're going to be showing you more testimonies, people who have been using their faith, people who are determined that this is it. It's their moment now. They are, they are going to be the next testimonies. They determined that they would be the next testimonies and they became the testimony, Pastor it, It's a matter of decision, Bishop. It, this it is comes it. down to the person's faith, as you said, yes. because when we believe and we say, okay, this is my time. To, this day is not going to come to an end. Without yeah. a victory, we will get it. This is it. Determine that you're going to be the next one. If you haven't yet, share the link of the program. Come on. Invite more people. There are people who are suffering now. There are people who are desperate. People who don't know where to turn to. And once they receive the link, this is it. All they're going to do is to click. And be one more who will receive a chance. And all they have to do, Pastor Ed, is just to share. Yes. Isn't it? That's Sharing right. everything that is there. That's right. It takes a couple seconds, Bishop, to it's just seconds. do this, but it makes so it's such a big such difference a big in the one. life yes, of people. For sure, for sure, for sure. So let's go go there to Facebook, Instagram, Telegram. Go there to, to our Telegram chat, WhatsApp. Let's use every possible tool we have to make this link. LibertyRadio.co.uk arrive somewhere. That's right. And we don't even know where we are sending, Pastor That's Edwards. right, Bishop. You know That's that right. sometimes we send links there, they go to places we never imagined they would reach. Yes. And there, God reached out a person who was about to commit suicide. How many times That's did right. that happen? And, and, and for us, Bishop, sometimes sending the link, it's not that big of a difference. No. But for the person who us is anything. suicidal, depressed, sad, yeah. one link, one word here from this program will make all the difference Definitely. in the world for them. For sure. So let's go. Let's continue sharing. You who have done it, great. And determine now you're going to be the next testimony. Are you ready? Yes. We have testimonies today from different areas, people who have been joining us that's right and decided to use their faith that's right Bishop, this is it. they determined that this is the moment for them to glorify god and it happened so let's go let's watch there the first testimony and determine there come on determine that you are going to be the next one and if you are not here on the live chat come on even here on the live chat in case you have a testimony something happened let us know here yes you can share here on the live chat and afterwards you can record your testimony and send to this email address, mytestimony at uckg.org. Okay? Send to this email address. You can send to the WhatsApp number. Here it goes. 0785795641. Have a look there. Make sure that you, you capture now this image. Yes? And send us your testimony. Two minutes max so we can play as many as we can here, isn't That's it? That's right, Bishop, because there are so many and <laughs> so many different areas of life all across the board. It's amazing. People are sending it. This is it. And even though we're trying to show everything, but it's just too many. <laughs> yes, bear with us. If you have sent yours, we already have here. And remember, we are showing, we are playing actually the testimonies here on Liberty Radio before the online services, right. after the online services. It's everywhere, even on TV as well, some channels we we managed yes. to, to play our service and testimonies are being played there. Look how amazing. So let's go. Let's watch one more. Yes. Are you ready? Let's see the first one. Hi, my name is Neva and I'm a Raven. So last week on Monday during the service, I accepted the challenge and I presented an offering that was different than what I would usually present. And on, on the day, actually, I didn't pray for anything specific because I wasn't expecting anything different because I'm just doing like my normal job. I'm not in any different projects. So I wasn't expecting anything different. And I had a payment due 
on Thursday that week. So Wednesday, I called payroll just because I had other questions to ask them. And I found out on that day that the payment that I was going to receive on Thursday was higher than what I was expecting. <laughs> and at the time, to be honest, I was just like, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and I didn't even connect the dots. It took me a few days to realize that that was actually a result from the challenge I did with God on Monday. But during this whole period of the lockdown, I have been seeing God providing for me in a very special way, you know, like it doesn't matter if what I need is something small or if it's something big. I have been seeing God providing for all of my needs, uh, even like with things like helping me to manage my finances, giving me wisdom, helping me through difficult, challenging situations at work. You know, God has been providing every single one of my needs. So I had to share this. <laughs> Lester, Lester, Pastor That's Edwards. That's it, Bishop. Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing to see. May God bless you all from Lester. Yes. And, and even no one told her to do it, but she used her faith and she's seen the results. Her faith told her to do it, <laughs> <Yes>. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's it. When we act, God reacts. May God bless you all from outside London as well. And we have, we have one more, isn't it, from outside London. Let's play the ones from outside London. Let's go. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Romin, and I'm from Manchester. And I just want to give a testimony about my family. And uh, we received the news not long ago about my my auntie being ill. She had um, they said she had a lump on her breast, and they said it was cancer. And where well, she went to one one place, and they said it was cancer. And then she went to they told her to go get more tests done so they can start the treatment. And when she went to the other test, she had to pay a lot of money to do the test. And she was doing the test. And I was the I was said, no, I said, no, this is not going to happen to my family. We never had cancer in my family before. I've never heard of it in my family. That's not going to happen. And I determined that she's not going to start. She shall live long to see her kids and her grandkids. And I determined this and I kept on praying for her. Friday, I remember I was literally praying for her, drinking the water for her, putting my hand for her. And it was last week. And I received the news, and we received the news, and said all the, all the tests came out clear, and they, they, it was no cancer, there was nothing. Oh my God, we were so happy. I was dancing, and I just want to say thank you for the bishop and the pastors giving us these online services and strengthening our faith. And through God, miracles shall definitely happen. Amazing testimony. Amazing. Manchester, Pastor Edwards. Yes, great, great. Oh, the bless people you all there from there. The faith. Yes, for sure. She prayed, she determined, she did not accept that bad news for her family, and she got the breakthrough. What we are saying, Pastor Edwards, and people need to get this spirit of not in accepting or not accepting the unacceptable. Right. What is not God's will? That's right. Because we cannot be happy seeing in our lives the opposite yeah. of what God has promised. No, no, That's no. not something to be accepted. That's something to be fought against. And those mm -hmm. who are believing, they are seeing the results. Exactly. And we have one more from outside London. That's right. Outside do. London is taking over <laughs> Friday's program. That's the spirit for you to see that everywhere there are people of faith, no matter how far they are from us, because when they show God their faith, ah, they are close to God and they are close to their blessings and the miracle happens, as you can see right. there. So let's go. Let's watch another one from outside London. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lorraine, and I'm from the Boring Branch in Birmingham. I'd like to share my testimony of what God has done, especially the online service, the Sunday service for praying for our families. And every Sunday, I will be determining that my family will be united. And I always hold on to the, the word that me and my house will serve the Lord. And, you know, God inspired me to do another, you know, Lord's Supper for one family members but as I obeyed and I you know trusted that God would come through and as I was in spirit you know seeking God and really you know just searching God and God came through and I had a family member that came and I actually you know asked the family member if she wants to be be a part of it and my family member accepted and I had not just one family member but two family members accepted this and we actually took part in the Lord's Supper together 
and you know because my family in the past had not liked the church and they even said they would never step even step foot in the church and I just want to give glory to God because we know that I didn't accept the unacceptable, especially my family. So give glory to God in everything and don't give up on the family. Just keep going, keep persevering because God is with us. Birmingham, God bless you all from the Midlands, Boring, Los Angeles. Woman of faith. That's right. She said the key word, Bishop, obedience. I this obeyed. And that's how she saw the, the And change. look how nice she said, I don't accept yes. the situation. This is the spirit. We must revolt against whatever it is that is a nonsense. It's not that's glorifying right. God. It's affecting us. So why should I say welcome to that? That's no. right. Bishop, I remember that also. Uh -huh. uh, if, if I didn't have this spirit of revolt, mm -hmm. my family Me too, would Pastor be without yes. God. All it of us. That's what we learned. Yeah. That, that, that brought them. And I'm certain that those who are believing, mm -hmm. like Lorraine, they are going to see their family come to God. That's right. I remember even in, in fighting for my deliverance, Pastor Edward, I, I was demon-possessed. And those who, who know how it is, they will familiarize you know, themselves with, with this moment. They are going to agree with me, actually. I was demon-possessed. I had nightmares, panic attacks. You know those moments that, I don't know if this has ever happened to you. If you, you probably heard about it. You are sleeping and you try to wake up. And, he, and you cannot wake up. It happened with me, Bishop. You know, it's like saying, my goodness, and, but the, the dream is so vivid. The truth is that that's no longer a dream anymore. It's, yes. it's real already. Yes. And I felt like something choking me, choking me. And I said, what is going on? I could feel it, feel a hand, but I couldn't see anybody. Yes. And I would cry there, shed tears, say, my God, oh my goodness, what is this? What is going on here? Yes. And it was a fight. I remember coming on Fridays, I would feel dizzy, feel like I was going to pass out, and my heart beating fast, I would have goosebumps. But I said, this is it. I give you my life, Lord Jesus, and I don't accept ever again to manifest with demons. I don't accept these demons to touch me. By the way, that's what played a key. You know, that's, that's what made a, key, a, a difference in my life. When I revolted against the spirits, I said, never again you're going to touch me. My body is not yours. My life is not yours. And I was delivered. This is Look it. at that. This is a key element of faith. This is it. Yeah. Revolt. Determining that this situation that is unbearable yeah. will leave and not come back. That evil spirits will leave and not come back. That's how people get mm -hmm. free. It's not just prayer. It is this attitude of revolt against evil. Our prayers for them are very important. When we say get out, as you know, people feel good, feel better. But afterwards, Pastor Edward, they are going to go to their homes. Like yeah. now, the program is going to come to an end. Now they're going to have to fight their fight. Yes, that's right. And these evil spirits have to see that these people are, are indeed resisting them. They are not just tolerating them, accepting yes. them. Yes. The devil wants people to, as we said, to, to accept a spirit of passivity. Yes. Saying, all right, amen to, to everything. And that we are powerless. To, to powerless. Uh, this is it. Yes. But that's... That's what we cannot accept. Yes, Bishop, do you know what I remember? Uh, uh, hearing some people even say, oh, if I if I could spend the whole day in the church, yeah. I would because here I feel so good. Feel but that's peace. actually not a good thing. No. Because God is not with us just while that's we are right. in the church. Exactly. We're not a, I mean, people are not coming to the church now, Bishop, but we are seeing the amount of mm -hmm. testimonies that they are sending. So it's actually this, is when we say, no, no, God is with me wherever mm -hmm. I go. And if I am with him, this situation is unacceptable and it's not going to stay in that's my life. That's it. So take advantage of this moment and apply what we are saying in your life. Be inspired by the testimonies. Follow the directions that they are giving you without even knowing who you are. And I, I, I love the part that she said that she prepared the Lord's Supper. Can you see why God honored? Yes, she, she believed. gave him a sign of faith there. She believed and God honored her. So we have another one. Yes. So let's go. One more. Hi, my name is Esther and I'm from the branch of Croydon. So for me, during this period of quarantine, it's been a blessing. And um, also, I received the Holy Spirit during this um, period of quarantine. And basically, it started with the campaign of Pull of Siloam, where basically I made this decision to just do whatever God asked me to do. And through this, um, I could see that I started to hate the old me, like the, the things that I used to do, I, I started hating them completely. And doing things of, um, of God, like reading my Bible, 
seeking. It wasn't a burden. It wasn't hard for me to do it. I, I started loving to do these things even more. And so basically it was on Wednesday service where I received the Holy Spirit and it was a peace and assurance of my salvation. And whatever I was going to go through, even if it was really hard in my eyes, I was going to overcome it. Amazing testimony. This is it. The Holy Spirit. That's it. That's God the bless best. you all from Croydon. Eh? Croydon in the faith there. Yes, they are in the faith. South London in the faith, Bishop. Look how great Pastor Edwards. She believed and during this lockdown, people are experiencing God's power and they are being baptized with the Holy Spirit. Uh, those who are listening, Bishop. Those who are see? staying in Jerusalem. Yeah, those it's who behind are, us here, yes. You know, who turned away from Emmaus. They are in the presence of God. Yeah, that's they are right. the ones now being rewarded by Jesus himself. And God's going to do much more. I agree with all of you now that you're going to be the next testimony. In a few moments, we're going to be praying together with you, agreeing together, determined that no evil is going to resist, remain in your life. But right now, right now, I believe many people who saw these testimonies, Pastor, they, they are saying that this is it. Why not me? Yes. And I'm sure that they're going to be here. That's right. In they Jesus' to name. They're the next testimony. That's right. Let's go for a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be showing you some something important. We, we, we have been showing, we showed in our services today, very important a strategy that the devil has been using for centuries now. It was effective with many people. It didn't work with Jesus. Eh? No, at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it, did, it didn't work with him. And in Jesus' name, it's not going to work with those who are going to give ears to what we're going to say today. We'll be right back. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. I was at a stage in my life where I was starting to feel empty and I had always looked at other things to fill that void. When I came in the, in this building, I was completely lost actually because the first time I came, I didn't quite believe and then I went back and it's only when things really got very bad for me to an extent where I almost wanted to kill myself. I was kind of going through a lot of, a lot of things such as addictions, such as pornography, um, many things such as drinking, smoking. Following God's direction helps me to come out of my comfort zone. I'm someone who's very regimented and everything has to be by the book, but with God, God sometimes says go left and all of a sudden he'll say go right and I've learned to take pleasure in doing that. Since I've given my life to God, so many things have happened to me and it's, in, and it's only been a couple months. So I've managed to start my own business. Now I'm actually making money from this business and I'm, and I'm not actually needing to work as much. I'm not held back anymore. I'm, I'm moving forward in a positive way. A life without God is meaningless. You will have success, you will make, you will succeed, you will have different accomplishments, but it won't be the direction. There's no guarantee that it's your direction. All you can do is give it a try. If you've never been here, come come and try it. Because me, at first, I didn't, I, I didn't think I was going to stay here for that long when I first came, but I ended up falling in love with the church on the first day and giving my, giving my life to God on that first day. Follow your heart and calm. You will not go back because I've never gone back and I, and I don't intend to. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. Welcome back, and yes, you will be the next testimony. In a few moments, we're going to be praying together. Today's the day we resist all evil That's right, more than sure. ever. Yes. We resist all evil every day, but there is a day that we dedicate for this moment, the moment of the strong prayer, fighting against all evil. We're going to be doing this together in a moment. But before we do it, we need to review this important message because it's even part of deliverance, Pastor Edwards. That's right. Bishop. Deliverance doesn't only happen when people receive strong prayers. Deliverance yeah. happens when people understand the word, practice the word, isn't it? That's right. They, they, it's through understanding yeah. and putting it into practice that ignites a power in us that overcomes mm -hmm. all evil. That's right. So we have been mentioning about how Satan has been using different kinds of strategies. We know, we know 
has been here using different strategies with different people and he works in so many ways to destroy, always to to, ha- right. to hurt, right? Bringing, aiming destruction. And in the times of Jesus, he used the word of God against Jesus. That's right. He tried to distort the understanding. He nearly, he, he, he thought for a moment that Jesus was going to, to do what he said. Yes. Well, this is the word, so why don't you do it? But Jesus saw how he was using that against him, yes. using the word. In other words, through the word, he was trying to cause destruction in Jesus' life. And he has been doing this throughout centuries, and he has been getting to people's lives, right? Yes, Bishop. That's why we have to read the word of God with wisdom. Jesus, yeah. he detected Satan's guile there, and, mm-hmm. and, and he immediately then uh, did not act in that way that he no. was being suggested because he understood the word. That's right. So we're going to show you here how the devil has been working in the word of God. We have seen that in many Bibles, Bible versions, verses have been taken away. That's right. Omitted completely. Some verses have been altered. Yes. And today we're going to show verses that have have been altered there and partially there, you know, a key part a has part been taken it. away. Yes, imagine. Yes, and the, and a key part, as you said, just just erased. Not just some, not a re, a repetition. Sometimes people say, no, yes. but it's a it's a repetition. It's reinforcing. <laughs> That's not a reinforcement. Yes. That was a key verse that would bring the understand the correct actually yeah. understanding for people who read it. Yeah, it, it, it's like who read it, it's it so right? Important, Bishop. It's like we had a full map. And it's like half of the map has been and now, taken on. Now we just have half of the way. And we think we have the full way. Yes, and now, and this is dangerous. Yes. When you think that you are obtaining the full word, imagine the complete word, and you base your life upon that. Yes. And then you don't see results. You don't see the destination that you want to get And then you to. wonder, well, what is going on? Things are getting worse. Or uh, people said that it was going to work. It's not working. And people start blaming the words, yes. blaming God, blaming the church. But they have to blame the ones who are making the translations there. Yes. Is the devil behind, Pastor? Yes, it's not that's even right. People. people are just instruments, isn't that's it? Right. People are just instruments, just rephrasing that because we don't want people to be against anybody. No. Yes, it's you no know, something that really makes us be annoyed when yes. we see some versions really, you know, distorting yes. the, the true meaning. The meeting, distorting, right? yes. But we know that this is the work of the devil. Well, we're going to review the truth now. And the devil must be very angry now. He must be gnashing his teeth now, Pastor yes. Edwards. <laughs> Say, I'm going to kill them. And look how nice. He doesn't kill us. He's not going to kill us because now the truth is coming to you. Let's show the first slide there with this translation. There are quite a few. There are five translations. They all present the same verse in the same the way. Same way yes. And this verse, I know it's a verse that is well known. People are familiar with this verse. Matthew 5.44, it says there, but I tell you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Completely right, please. Right. This is completely right. That's right. But Pastor Edwards, people who don't have access to the version we use, you see that Bible, if you can bring to, to me here, please. People who don't have another Bible, people who only have one, and it's written Holy Bible. For everybody, yeah. say, ah, Holy Bible, that means it's the Bible. Mm, it's what I need here. It's the... You know, it's the Word of God, everything I need to know, it's, it's written here. See, Holy Bible. So if the, the label is right, yes. the content is right, this is dangerous, no. Pastor Edwards. No, that's not. <laughs> Many labels are misleading, are, isn't it? Are different. Yeah, yes. It's the same title of the book, but the content is not the same. See, when you get a Bible, you have to read here. First of all, you have to detect, okay, we, what kind of book is that? Okay, Holy Bible. Then you have to come to the side here where you're going to find out about the version, the type of version. This is the whole, the, the bishop's Bible, the one we, we use in the pulpit. We're not saying that this is the best. Yes. We are not here saying that this is the one. We're not promoting versions here. Yes. But what we are trying to do is to show you, you know, which one is more accurate, which one is more reliable than the other ones. That's right, Bishop. That's right? right. This one is unadulterated. Yes. It's not uh, removed or uh, we have, distorted. We have noticed that this one here contains the verses there yes. and is very very similar to the you know the the, the original, the original manuscripts yes, yes. right so 
New King James Version is the one we use. You can read the King James Version or any version that is similar to this one, that is, right. you know, in agreement with this one here. Right. If you say, okay, how can I acquire this Bible? In a few moments, we're going to be showing you. Please, Pastor, don't let, let, let me forget. Please sure. let them know how they can acquire this Bible. That yes, one. you can have this one here. Excellent Bible with the, the footnotes there, the commentaries from Bishop Macedo. What a blessing. This Bible here, it's really, really good. So, we read there, see, different versions. There are five there. As you can see, the abbreviations there. We're not, we're not here to expose anybody, but that's what they say there. And it's, it's right, but there is a, the middle part. Yes. Now, let's go to the next slides there. Look at that. The same passage, Matthew 5, 44. And we have put something there for you to understand well. So, here it says, Matthew 5, 44. Pastor Ed, let me... Read here from the Bible. Just bring back to me here. Please. Look, I'm going to... Thank you. I'm going to read from here. Look, for you to see. It's not the slide, even though afterwards we're going to show the slide again. But let me read from here. Here. They can even put it up now, the, the words that I'm reading from the Bishop's Bible here. Look how, how strong. 544. That's the, the passage you have just read. But I say to you, and this is Jesus speaking, yeah? and it's amazing how many alterations were done on, on, the, words on the words of Jesus. Ah, Pastor Edward, what why. a coincidence. <laughs> huh? mm. That's right. I don't believe that. But I say to you, Matthew 5, 44, New King James Version hour. Love your enemies. Okay, so far, it's similar. Similar, Same. it's exactly like the other Same. one. Bless those who curse you. Ah, something else here. Do good to those who hate you. Look at this. Those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Similar to what we read. You know, see what, what, what is missing here? Let's put this slide there. Now, have a look there. This is missing in the Bible versions we, we showed you before. We are not just, as it says there, we are not supposed to just pray. Yes. Pray for someone. You know, just say a prayer. Oh, have a, have a nice day. Because yeah. <laughs> if I would read from the previous bishop, I could just say, okay, I love you and I'll pray for you. Away from me. Yes. But that's not what the, the, the true no. meaning is. I have to bless them and I have to do good for them. Imagine. Which means I would have to, you know, do if it's in my power, do yes. something positive for those. And that's exactly what people don't want to do when they see somebody they don't like coming this way, they cross the road yeah. and say, no, I don't even want to cross paths with this person. I cannot stand looking at him. So there is something wrong there, Pastor that's, Edwards. That's right, Bishop. That's and when right. people don't have this key part where Jesus invites us not just to pray, just to say a prayer. And, and no. of course, people are not just, they're not going to just, they're, they're not going to really pray. When it's yeah. written there, pray. People who don't like somebody, they say, yes, oh God, have mercy on this person. Yeah, it's not maybe. to ask God to have mercy on the person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's to or bless to say, the you know, person. Oh God, take this person away from me, put them very far away from it me. It could That's be a not prayer. prayer. See, yeah. But it says that Jesus tells us to bless yes. those who curse us. In other words, if somebody curses me, imagine, says something horrible. It's not for me to curse back. No. Not at all. It's to bless that person. Yes. And more, if it's in my power, as we said, yes. to do good. Yes. Can you imagine you doing good to somebody who wants you to die, who is who hates you, Pastor yes, Edward? Only a person who really is taking wow. their faith serious, who this wants is, this to is follow deep, Jesus huh? indeed. They can do that. This is it. And now there is another verse we're going to show you that, as you see, it's very misleading, Pastor Edward. Yes, and very. What, and and this, this passage there in some of these versions, they have given... Uh, and this is the truth. They, they gave even a, an opportunity for people to start new denominations, yes. isn't it? And start this saying, Look, created a disaster, Bishop. We isn't it? Say, a disaster yeah. among those who want to follow God. Have you heard of people saying, once saved, saved forever. Once you give your life to Jesus now, don't worry. You're going to be saved. Don't worry about anything. Nothing can separate yes. you from God. Now, whatever you do wrong, you are still saved. Yes, that's it. Right? Imagine. Let's see there. As you can see there, in one of the versions that we don't usually read, it says there, therefore, there is, it's Romans 8, actually, yeah. verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation 
for those who are in Christ Jesus. Correct? And verse 2, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Pastor Edward, oh. you see, as we know the truth, there is something missing there. Absolutely. For some people, they're saying, where? What is missing? There is something very, very important missing there. Yes, yes. When we read from that version, we, we say, don't see, all right, there is yeah. no more condemnation. Okay, then. But look at that. When people hear this, there is no more condemnation. All right, so that means now I give my life to Jesus. No matter the way I live my life, I'll never be condemned. So I can live in sin. I can do whatever I feel like because I am As long I as saved. I attend church and as I long, have yes, my Bible, as long as I sing my, sing, yes, my gospel and, and songs. And I do good to people, isn't yes, it? Yes, I'm you know, trying to be the best way that I can. But there are some things that I like. They are sinful. They are wrong. But there's no condemnation for me. Can you imagine? And we know that there are people right now practicing this. That's they are in the church. They give their tithes and offerings. Sunday mornings, they are there. Even during the week, they are evangelizing. That's right. But they are now also behind people's backs. And I'm saying people because God has no back. Huh? Yes. They are there jumping the fence. They are there getting involved with worldly things. When yes. they are in the internet, they go to pornographic contents. They, and, and they say, ah, but come on, nobody's perfect. No, and they come with this excuse of nobody's perfect and, yes. and, and, and worse, as we said. Ah, but it's written, there is no more condemnation. So God knows I am. I am a sinner, so I have, I, I'll sin now and again. And it's acceptable. This is no. unacceptable. No. Absolutely. Imagine, Pastor Edward. Absolutely. This is the danger, Bishop, that we see when the word is, is distorted, is adulterated. And some people are saying, ah, but, but isn't this what is written? There is no more condemnation. Leave yeah. me alone. We are saved by the grace. And people even use the grace as an excuse. Yes, as, a, as a blank check to yeah. do whatever simple Do whatever thing you, you feel like. Do. Yes, no. you have a, you know, a free pass to the sinful island. And, and we can see, Bishop, that, that there's something wrong with, with that way of writing My the verse. Goodness. Because if that is true, then what, what then about the teaching of the narrow door that leads to yeah. heaven and the white door? Why did Jesus what tell that, that guy to go and sin no more? Then? Yeah, so then, you know, there must be some, some bell should ring. Let's show them the next one. What is missing there? Look what is missing on this verse. That's Look right. at that. Now, from the same version that we read. Do you have it there, Pastor Edward? Yes. You read there. Read yes. there for them. Romans 8, 1. And they are going to see that the same things that were in the other version are there. Yes. But there is something that was removed. The, the middle part was removed. Let's show them there. It says, there is therefore now... No condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Fine, you see? Exactly then, the same as the other one. Exactly. Now, who do not mm. walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Look at what is missing, Pastor yes. Edwards. My there is goodness. no condemnation, okay, for those who gave their lives to Jesus. They have been cleansed, washed, and now they have to live in newness of life. That's they have right. to walk, walk according to... Walk according to the Spirit. That means they have to live a life of holiness. That's right. Because if they go back to their old ways, they go back to the sinful habits of the past, there will be condemnation. There will be. Their own sin will condemn there them. There will be yes. loss. That's right. Isn't it? Their souls will go to hell. That's right. This condition here is Can crucial to the understanding, others? Bishop, that My we goodness. need to turn our back on sin so that we can turn to God. There's no way to please both. No. Oh, I live in sin and I'm pleasing God. Impossible. No. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. And if you say, Bishop, what about me? I have fallen into temptation. Or people taught me that I could continue living in sin, that Jesus is merciful and he's going to save everybody at the end or, you know, of their lives. God is giving you an opportunity today. God is righteous and he knows you have been deceived. He knows you are reading some Bibles that I will not even call them, you know, Bibles. They are yeah. books that contain the word of God also yes, there. some of it. Some of it. Yes. But now that the truth is coming to you, now, this is serious. Now you cannot say, I didn't know, because now you know. So now is the moment for you to once and for all say, this is it. I will take it seriously. Enough of having one foot in the church and one foot in the world. Enough of being half right and half wrong. That's right. Enough of involvement with practices that you know are not according to God's will. You have been walking, you know, moved by the desires of the flesh, or you have been living sin, now is the moment for you to give them up. 
Ah, but there is no more condemnation. Correct. For those who do not walk according to the flesh. Yes, that's right. For those who turn their backs on their past and live in newness of life according to the Spirit. They live a life of obedience to God. There's, these people can rest assured th their past will not condemn them anymore. That's right. They are free indeed no matter how terrible their past were. That's what this word means. That's right. Let's say you had a horrible past. Maybe you killed someone. That the moment you repented, you gave your life to Jesus and started living a new life of obedience, there is no more condemnation. That's what it means, That's Pastor right. So that people don't worry their minds about, oh, but you know, I did what this, I did, this I did true. that. And, uh, no, from it's unforgivable. No, there is no, no such a thing. When we, when we walk according to the word of God, now doing the right things in God's eyes, we are forgiven. That's but right. But we cannot continue walking in the same life we had no. before. That's right. We're going to call a break now for you to analyze your life for you to digest everything we said, for you to have your moment there with God, even repent and say, Lord, have mercy on me. My goodness, I, I know the truth and I have been giving this, this excuse. Ah, I'm a sinner. Everybody sins, so at the end, Jesus is going to save me. When you know that what you are doing is wrong and you know you have to stop, ah, you are going against God. You are, right. you are throwing in the bin the chance of salvation. This is it. So the opportunity has been given to you today. God is saying to you, repent, turn your back, and start walking in the Spirit according to the, the directions of God. And indeed, there will be no more condemnation. That's right. So have your moment with God there during this break. Humble yourself. Ask God to cleanse you, forgive you. Because as we come back, we're going to pray against whatever evil that has been affecting your life. And we're going to ask God to feed with His Spirit today. Prepare yourselves. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. How often, Lord, have I Given you just scraps of time Half-heartedly I've offered hollow praise to you Thought I had so much to do and desires to pursue in my selfishness i just drifted away when priorities unravel the impossible can happen the family we dearly love gets pushed aside while I sought you once again I remembered when we met When worshipping you, Lord Was all my heart's delight I worship you Let me run home Into your waiting arms again and start all over to cherish your heart more than my own never let go of the bond between us both nothing justifies such a selfish life i will never be fulfilled if i can't have you inside of me Inspired on Liberty Radio. And right now we are going to pray against all evil, especially these demons, Pastor Edward, who are making them fall, who are there taking advantage of the situation and setting traps for them. That's right. We're going to bind them up, spiritual in the family, finances. Let's rebuke all evil now, Pastor That's Edward. Right. Do you want God in your life? Do you want to be free? Yes, you who are being sincere, that you who are listening to the word and you are saying, I don't want to be the same, I want a new life. So we're going to rebuke this evil, these problems, command them to depart. And today, you're going to be saved and you're going to experience the Spirit of God. You're going to receive the Holy Spirit. Let's bind up all evil now, Pastor Edward. Stretch out your hands to us here, whoever you are, please. My Lord, in the now, name Lord, of Jesus, Jesus, right now we bind yes. the Spirit 
that wants this person to give up. Right now, the spirit that is there causing doubt in the mind, causing fear, you spirit of depression, anxiety, spirit of worry, you spirit behind the financial problems this person cannot overcome, we rebuke you now. We tie you up. You live now, wherever you are, in this house, in this family. You are there oppressing the mind, oppressing. You are putting a hole on this person's chest. This person feels an emptiness. We remove you now. In the name of Jesus, Christ, we command all evil right now, spirits get, get out, out of their life and never, never come, come back. back. Yes, spirits of hell, these lives are not yours. These families are not yours. Your work is destroyed now. And now we determine the opposite begins to happen. Yes. Let there be freedom now. Be healed, be delivered. All of you be free, be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your face, please. Lift up your hands. And now as you repent, your sins are forgiven. Yes, as you repent right now, believe Jesus has mercy on you. He made you connect because he wants to help. So now be forgiven, be cleansed, be washed. And right now, believe salvation is coming to you. Your life is blessed, but better than this, greater than this, your souls are saved. And now there where you are, You are going to ask God to fill you with His presence, His Spirit. There where you are, you're going to say, Lord, fill me now with your power because I don't want to go back. I don't want ever again to, to live the way I was living because I want more of you to be close to you. And I want to enter the kingdom of heaven. So there where you are, ask God to fill you with His presence. Go ahead, seek Him with us, with all of your heart now. filled with God's presence. Receive the Holy Spirit there where you are. Be free from your doubts, fears, sadness. Be free from all the negativity that was upon you. You are free right now. Rejoice. God is with you. Yes, and your life will never be the same again. Thank you, my Lord. I believe your people are blessed. I believe their lives will glorify you in Jesus Christ's name. And you who agree, say amen. You are blessed. Have faith in God. This is it. Don't turn back. Now live a new life. You are starting a new life right now. Make the right choices. Choose correctly. Choose the kind of people also to be associating yourself with. Isn't it, Pastor? Because sometimes people say, I want to be close to God, but they're always close to people who distance them from God. Uh, Who are always giving them the wrong suggestion, inviting to the wrong places, saying words that create doubt in their mind. And saying, oh, look what I saw here, what is written about. So Hmm. they have to avoid this company. That's it. That's right. So practice everything we we have given you and continue joining us. By the way, tomorrow we're not going to be hosting this program. It's from Monday to Friday, be inspired, but tomorrow here on Liberty Radio, 10 a.m., we're going to have the online service, okay? And 10 a.m. on Sunday, Sunday, Pastor Ed, is going to be the great day, yes. the Sunday of the prophecy, yes. as they can see there. Yes, all Look at that. pastors, bishop united there, stretching yes. out their hands, determining that those areas of their life that are collapsed and that are yeah. weak will receive life, will be strengthened, will be revived. That's it. So Sunday at 10 a.m. here on Liberty Radio, Facebook, also on YouTube, Univer, we are going to be hosting this special service. It's going to be the Sunday of prophecy. There will be a moment myself and all the pastors yes. will connect together and we're going to stretch out our hands and prophesy, determine what will begin to happen in the lives of those who will be connected. So be there, all right? So have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening. God bless you all. See you here or in one of our pages. Bye-bye. Maybe right now you are at the bottom of the pit. You are struggling. You have lost everything. 
Maybe you are about to get divorced. You are sick. You received a terrible news from your doctor saying that there is no more hope for you. Here we are throwing the rope at you. If you feel lonely, you feel socially isolated, you feel as though no one around me likes me. Maybe you've been rejected by a spouse. Maybe you've been rejected by your parents. Your life is hell. If you want help, you can give us a call. We have advisors ready to take your call. This is God showing you there is a way out. This is how lives are saved daily around the world. We switched on the TV and there was a TV program going there and the pastor, he, he said that even if you have received a no from everyone, know that God wants to say a yes. Me and my family were going through a very difficult situation. My mom had just come out of a really violent and abusive marriage and um, the, we had a lot of debts, the finances were really bad and I used to notice that when my mom used to watch the show, she was much more happier. Like it passed her a sense of like motivation, especially with the way the situation was. It was so bad that it was the little hope that she had. Now, imagine if these programs did not exist. There is only one reason why these vehicles of information remain on air 24-7 to bring life, peace and help to the afflicted and desperate. Your contribution. It is through these antennas that we reach the homes of these people who are in need of help. When Jesus walked the earth, he already knew that reaching people from the housetops was more effective Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light, and what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. Wherever you are, be filled with God's power. Receive strength. You are free right now in Jesus' name. Be a preacher of the housetops and help us to reach those who do not know what else to do. You can donate through our website, uckg.org forward slash donation. Be inspired on Liberty Radio.